Well, thank you. I know a lot of people make fun of your height. Hey, all whoa, right. whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get into this real quick. It pisses me off. I flew all the way out here, and you guys give me 60 seconds. My name is Dana. Is that not trans enough for you liberal f***s? No? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this was the best. I have the complete video. I'm going to show you Danny White tears into Netflix and calls them Libra F after giving him 60 seconds to roast NFL legend Tom Bradley. I consider Donald Trump to be one of my very, very good friends. Any uh, favorite stories? I mean, there's so many stories. I mean, once, once he, he, he won the election, like I'd be at work and uh, I'd be down the hall, was in the matchmaker room, whatever. And my secretary would tell the president's on the phone, come running down the hallway and grab the phone. And he'd want to talk about the, the fight that was coming up or the fight that happened. Or I'd be in my car and uh, I'd answer the phone. It's like, uh, hi, this is the White House. We have the president uh, uh, <laughs> of the United yeah. States on the phone. Yeah. You know, that's a trip when that first starts yeah. happening. And then... um just to, 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 to sum him up, this is the kind of guy that you want to talk about a fighter. This is the most resilient human being I've ever met. If you see the shit that this guy's going through publicly every day, and I'll call him on the phone as a friend and be like, hey, you good? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Unfazed. Unfazed like nothing's going on and he'll start talking to me about this and that and all this other shit one time there's only been one time i've never talked about this publicly but one time yes i decided to show you this so you can know his time when he partake to politics now going back into this video it is very important we take an exclusive look like i'm shocked to see that he was even invited in the first place that is not all. I have two videos that I will show you what exactly actually went on to avoid copyright issue. I decided to record it in an audio form so you can see exactly. Though I don't always like to react on coming videos, but when I saw this and what they actually put out, it was impressive. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please and that was to do that, it would do you no harm if you share out this video. Tom is afraid of the giant. Hey, let, let me get into this real quick. It pisses me off. I flew all the way out here, and you guys give me 60 seconds. My name is Dana. Is that not trans enough for you, Lips? No? <laughs> All right. Tom, you played for the Patriots for so long that I was actually starting to feel like you were from Boston. Then I saw you running. I was like, no, he's definitely from San Francisco. <laughs> you, you, you led the league for 20 years in passing as a straight guy. Come on. <laughs> hey, I got two of the baddest dudes in the world here right now. Sugar Sean O'Malley and Max Holloway. Tom, you would have been a great fighter. You're already the master of the ground and pound. That's what you call coffee dates with your boyfriend, Alex Guerrero. <laughs> One more thing. You people probably don't know this, but Jeff Ross was very interested in the UFC. He thought it meant unlimited fried chicken. I love you, Tom. Dana White, ladies and gentlemen. Great job, Dana. Yes, but it is insane. Just imagine the distance you took up on the rigs just to be given 60 seconds. It is insane. Any person who actually, you know, feel the same. If you see him speaking like this, it is to tell you the way Libras are. Though a lot of people are even shocked, like he was even invited. You know, because they know who he is. He stands. 
maybe they had a reason. Now going into this video, we are so bad. This man roasted every person, including Jeff Bezos. I was impressed when I watched that. Let me play it straight so you can see exactly what he did here. That's why Kevin Hart is hosting tonight. All night, he's been using the stool that Aaron Hernandez kicked out from under himself. Kevin is so small that when his ancestors picked cotton, they called it deadlifting. Tom Brady is a patriot, which is surprising considering he looks like a Confederate fag. Clearly, your ex-wife takes after you. I hear she's out there training balls right people in house. Gronk, I'm happy you could take a break from writing santa letters to be here today i knew you were here when we were all out of chocolate milk backstage you look like the final boss in george floyd the video game jeff is so jewish he only watches football for the coin toss nikki has such a bad eating disorder the industry keeps shoving her down our throat you might recognize her from her podcast appearances specials and winning the triple crown at churchill downs you might recognize kevin as the jockey that rode her and that's churchill downs the racetrack not to be confused with what jeff Ross looks like when he smokes a cigar. Sam J, an obese African American lesbian. So by having here, Netflix checked off a lot of boxes. Andrew Schultz, I'm glad you took a break from watching YouTube videos on how to dap up black dudes correctly. Schultz's mom is a professional ballroom dancer, which means she's a stripper that talks too much. Burt Kreischer is a king. He looks like at the Tiger King and the Liver King only ate Burger King and had a liver that looked like Martin Luther King got beat up by Rodney. King. And how about the appearance from the great Ron Burgundy, huh? A whale's vagina, which reminds me, Kim Kardashian's here. She's had a lot of black men celebrate in her end zone. Kim, word of advice, close your legs. You have more public beef than Kendrick and Drake. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Netflix. I believe you've seen this. What actually drew my attention to this video, it was when he said Kim Kardashian should close her legs. It was impressive, right? Now giving you background knowledge on what actually happened here, when you take a look at this article, UFC chief Danny White let rip at Netflix after giving him only a minute for his segment on the roots of Tom Brady as he called me streamer Libra F. Wider was amongst a border of a huda of celebrities who had arrived for the Gris TV event, which was streamed live on Netflix. As some of the biggest names in sport and entertainment turned up to roast the NFL legend Kim Kardashian, Ben Affleck, Kevin Hart were included in the lineup of stars arriving on the red carpet. And why was another name most fans were recognized, but he was far from happy. After discovering he had been given a short time slot to roast former New York Patriot and Tampa Bay, this man flying out just to attend the event as he embarked on an exerted run, let me get into this quick. He said the start of his address, it, you know, how he speaks sometimes, it is actually difficult to even read out what he put out, but this should not be surprising. Yeah, if they are giving him less time because they realize what he was saying might be a little bit... No, let me not go into that now because sometimes it can be controversial on this, pla on this platform. Thank you guys for always being there, sharing out my videos. God bless you abundantly.